everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are ready to talk about frogs today because that is what this video is about. We are finally back here talking about my frogs and this new frog enclosure that is right next to me. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video of how I set up this beautiful paludarium that you see next to me here. And in that video, I told you guys that part two was going to be coming very soon. However, when you are working with animals and just creative projects in general, Things don't always go quite to plan, and I actually ended up completely changing my plan for this enclosure, and I actually ended up changing this enclosure a little bit, and then I had some issues with my animals. So there were a lot of reasons why this video didn't come out as early as I originally anticipated, but either way, everything has worked itself all out, and I am super excited to be back here today, finally with part two. So before we get on with the video, I want to take a quick second to really just thank Exoterra for sponsoring these videos and sending me these products and just making this enclosure and these videos possible. I am so incredibly grateful for Exoterra and the opportunities I have had with them. They have just been absolutely wonderful to work with and have allowed me so much creative freedom with these videos which I truly truly appreciate so I just want to say a big thank you to Exoterra for sponsoring these videos and making it possible. So with that said, I am super excited to finally be telling you guys all about this enclosure and all of the new features and details to it, and also to finally be revealing to you which animal is going to live in this enclosure. So without further ado, let's meet this enclosure's future inhabitant. So this enclosure's future inhabitant is going to be Bert, my Vietnamese mossy frog. And Bert here was the chosen one. Bert is now going to be the lucky frog who gets to live in this new enclosure. So I didn't get any new pet or anything for this enclosure. The whole time I was planning on using it for animals that I already had. So now that you guys know that Bert is going to be living in this enclosure, let's talk about that a little bit because as I mentioned earlier, my plans for this completely changed and Bert living in this enclosure was not actually in my original plan. So my original plan for this enclosure was to actually house Alfredo and Linguini, my white tree frogs. I'm sure that you guys know them. So Alfredo and Linguini are already in their own terrarium that personally I like. I think it's set up really well for them. But the reason why I wanted to put them in this enclosure here is because when I first introduced Linguini into Alfredo's enclosure, they didn't seem to be getting along the best. And now they were weren't like aggressive towards each other or anything. I wasn't overly concerned, but Alfredo just didn't seem to really enjoy having another frog in his space. So then what I wanted to do was take Alfredo and Linguini and move them both into this enclosure because I figured by like starting them over in a completely new enclosure, they would have a lot better chance of just getting along. But then Alfredo and Linguini just started getting along fine. They got used to each other's presence, they were no longer kind of weirded out by each other, and they were doing perfectly fine in their current enclosure and at that point I just didn't really want to change them anymore because they were doing fine and then I was worried that if I changed them again it might weird them out or whatever and like I said their other enclosure is fine. So that is when I decided to change my plans and instead I decided that this enclosure is going to be for Bert my mossy frog. Now from the very beginning I actually thought that this enclosure would be better suited for Bert rather than my white tree frogs because because mossy frogs are a lot more aquatic than white tree frogs were, so I figured that Bert would be able to benefit from it more than Alfredo and Linguini could. But now the reason why I didn't want to put Bert in here earlier, or was, you know, considering not putting him in here, was because Bert has actually been dealing with a bit of a bacterial infection for a little while now. At first, it wasn't responding to any treatment and stuff, and both me and the vet were worried because we weren't really sure what to do but thankfully at the beginning of May we finally got him on a treatment that seems to be working and so over the past month and a half Bert has been healing he's doing so much better now 
I will say though, Bert was like never doing bad at all. Other than like having an infection on his nose, he still seemed totally fine. But thankfully his nose is just healing super well now and he's almost done his treatment. So because Bert is a lot healthier now and just doing better, I think that it is time to move him into this enclosure. So let's go ahead and get this enclosure ready for Bert. So I have actually changed this enclosure a bit since the last time you guys saw it. So before the water section used to just be this like small corner over here, but now it is the entire front half of the enclosure. So there is a way larger water section which Bert will really enjoy. So this enclosure is basically ready for Bert as is. As you guys saw, I have already got it all set up and everything. The only thing that I really need to do is add his filter in and I'm also gonna to add in a few more branches. But everything I plan on adding into that enclosure is just stuff that is already here in Bert's enclosure. So you can see that he has a filter in his pool back there, so I'm just going to be taking this filter out and then bringing it into the other enclosure along with a few of the branches that are currently in here. All right, so I went and I added the final touches to this enclosure. So I added in a couple more branches that I took out of Bert's enclosure, and then I also went ahead and I added the filter filter. So this is the same filter that was in Bert's enclosure and I didn't like change the filter media or anything so hopefully there should be lots of beneficial bacteria living in there and this tank has been set up for quite some time now that I have a feeling there's probably some beneficial bacteria living in here as well. And then I also just took this pothos out of Bert's enclosure. This is the one that was growing in his pond before and I tossed it in this pond here so hopefully this will do well. I'm hoping I can kind of get it to like vine up these branches. So there you have it. There's what I did to this enclosure to get it finalized and ready for Bert. So all I'm going to do now is just let the filter run for a couple hours and make sure that you know everything is going good and then we will come back in a little bit and add Bert into his new enclosure. So while we wait for this enclosure to be ready for Bert, I want to talk to you guys about this enclosure here in more detail because it has so many cool features and then I also want to talk to you guys about some of the products that I'm using in this enclosure to just make this whole thing possible. So this setup was built using products from the new Exoterra Frogs & Co product line. The terrarium that I used is the new Exoterra Tree Frog Terrarium. This one measures 18 inches wide, 18 inches deep, and 24 inches tall. So when you compare this new Tree Frog Terrarium to the standard Exoterra terrariums, this Tree Frog one here has a lot of new cool features. The first feature I want to show you guys is the new door. So the standard model Exoterra enclosures have a split door so you can kind of see the crack down the middle of it. However, the doors on their new Frogs & Co terrarium are just a single door. So by having just a single piece of glass rather than two pieces of glass, you get a nice unobstructed view into the enclosure. It's like a nice viewing panel. Personally, I don't care too much about the gap on standard Exoterra terrariums, but I am a big fan of having just the single viewing pane. And with the newly designed door, it also has a newly designed lock that works just by pressing buttons. Now let's talk about the drain in this enclosure, which I would have to say is my favorite feature. So on the bottom of these new Frogs & Co terrariums, there's actually a drain installed. This drain is so useful. Whether you have some sort of aquatic or semi-aquatic setup, or if you just have a bioactive enclosure with a drainage layer, this drain makes it so easy to just get rid of all of the excess water and drain out the enclosure if you need to. The enclosure also comes with some tubing, an elbow, and a valve to connect to the drain. Once you've connected it all, draining the enclosure is so easy. All I have to do is turn the knob on the valve that I have hidden underneath of my enclosure stand. And in just under two minutes, my entire enclosure has been drained. 
So like I said, this is definitely a favorite feature of mine and is something that I personally just think that all terrariums and aquariums should have. And now let's talk about the lid. So the lid on these enclosures is also a new design. You'll notice that only half of the lid is mesh. The other half is plastic and glass. So by only having half of the screen mesh, you're going to be able to hold in humidity a lot better than if the entire top was mesh. And since there's a glass piece over the front half, you can still put some sort of LED lighting on it. Obviously, you don't want to put a heat lamp or a UVB lamp over the glass, but you could put something like a plant light over top of the glass. Now, let's talk about my misting system. So Exoterra very kindly sent me this monsoon multi to hook up with my terrarium and I am excited. I have never used a monsoon before so I am excited to try it out. And with that said, I want to show you guys how I hooked it up into this enclosure. So looking at the enclosure, you can see the two misting nozzles right in the front here. So you can't really hide the nozzles, you know, like you could put them up against the glass more, I guess, but you know, there's no way to really 100% hide those nozzles. But the features in this enclosure have made it so easy to just hook this all up. So if you look right here, you can see that the nozzle is actually attached to the enclosure and I can just pull it right out. And if we follow along the sides of this enclosure, you'll actually notice that the tubing is inside of these little hooks here. So there are these hooks along both sides of the enclosure and they allow you to just so easily like pop the tubing into place, pop your nozzle into place, and then there you go. That is how easy it was to get these nozzles hooked up. And if you look in the back here, you can see that the tube follows right along here. It goes at one of those holes there and then the tube runs down the back you can see them both right there and then of course they connect to the monsoon which is down here underneath the stand so overall these new frogs and co terrariums have a lot of really cool features which like i said i am a big fan of and they all just make having a bioactive or a paludarium or whatever your setup is so much easier and just so much more possible. So now let's talk about the lighting on this enclosure. So I currently only have one light on this enclosure and it is the Exoterra Terra Sky Light. So this is not a UVB light or anything, but it is a plant light. So this enclosure has been set up for a couple weeks now and the plants so far have been doing quite well. I haven't noticed a whole lot of new growth or anything, but I didn't really expect to because you know, they're gonna take a little while to establish. But so far the plants seem to be doing really well, everything looks healthy, so so far I have no complaints. Let me go ahead and turn off the room light so I can show you some of the features of this light. So this here is just like the very basic white setting, but it does have a lot of other color options, a lot of different lighting effects, just things you can do. I think that this is really cool. I think the enclosure looks just like really pretty with a lot of these different light settings. And if you want, you can even have a thunderstorm. So like I mentioned, I have been enjoying this light so far. Honestly, I would say that my only complaint with this is that it can only be controlled by the remote. I don't see any sort of like on and off button on the actual light itself, which isn't an issue as long as you always have your remote with batteries in it, but if the batteries were to die or if you were to lose the remote, I don't really know how you would be able to use this light properly. So that is really my only complaint, so I guess I would just say be careful to not lose your remote. All right guys, so here is Bert. As I mentioned earlier, Bert did have a bit of a nose infection going on, which is why a little bit of skin is missing there, but he has been doing so well. Skin has been steadily growing back, so I personally think that he is ready to go in this enclosure now. All right, Bert, there you go. Welcome to your new home. 
All right, so I placed Bert in here. I didn't want to go and just like plop him into the water. I'll let him go in the water on his own if that's what he wants to do. But right now he's just on this brand. I'm sure as he settles in a little bit and after I leave, he'll start exploring around a little bit and checking out his new surroundings. I am so excited to finally have this enclosure done and ready for Bert. I really think that Bert is going to do super well in here. So I can't wait to update you guys in a couple weeks on how Bert's been doing. All right, so there we go. Bert is now in his new enclosure and I am just so excited for him. I really, really hope that he loves it and I really hope that he does well in here. But with all of that said and done, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video now. So once again, I just want to say a a huge thank you to Exoterra for sponsoring these videos, sending me these products, allowing me so much creative freedom with these. I am just super thankful and I really honestly couldn't be happier with this enclosure and the products and the way that all of this turned out. So thank you so much to Exoterra for this opportunity. I really, really do appreciate it. And now also a big thank you to everyone who watched these videos and enjoyed it. Your support means the absolute world to me. If you did enjoy this video, it would mean a ton to me if you gave it a big thumbs up. And also if you subscribe to my channel, I am getting so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers and I would really love to get there soon. So please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Also be sure to check out all of my social medias. Those all will be down in the description below and I would love to have you guys over there. So make sure you do that. And now with all of this said, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video.